What's going on guys? King Leo here back with another adventure and today is Tynamo Community Day. Um, we're down we're in downtown uh, Franklin right now. You see all those stops and whatnot back there. None of those have any um, lures on them. So I'm going to try my best to walk over there and lure all those up because I do believe that the lures last for, uh, let's see. Yeah, lure module duration is three hours. So I'm gonna lure up everything around us so we'll have an increased number of spawns. But I did want to make sure that I got some things taken care of and out of the way firsthand. I have my mega electric type to get more candies from this. I have my lucky egg going, I have my star piece going, and I also have my, um, my incense going. So we're gonna go, and I've already caught 15 tiny ones, I had to go plus plus going. So we're going to check and see what we where we're sitting at with XP. Uh, we're currently at 254,760,360. So, and we're still kind of getting more XP. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That way I know where I started at and then we'll see where we finished with the research. Um, and... Uh, I think that's about it for right now, but we're going to go ahead and get some of this research taken care of or started. So I know we have to make five nice throws. We had to catch 15 Tynamo, which we already done, and we had to power up Pokemon 10 times. So we'll go ahead, get that knocked out uh, in a second. And we also, I think there is some, yes, there's some limited research for Tynamo. We're, all these are going to be... Uh, rewarding us with the Unova Stone, which we need to evolve Tynamo into its final evolution. So we'll get that knocked out as well. We have a little over seven hours to get that done. But let's check and see how many Tynamo... Oh, wow. I got a shiny Tynamo off the Go++. Plus Plus, and I honestly can't even tell the difference. Like, like the I guess the line on its side is a little more noticeable. The little yellow line. But, I mean, that's about it. All right, I mean, so that's what, one Tynamo shiny already? Let's check and see if we have ourselves any hundos. No, we don't, no new hundos. But uh, let's get a check here. And that's not shiny. And let's get this checked. Nope, not shiny on that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, um, like I said, I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna actually activate Spatial Run as well and get that going so we can increase our spawn radius and get more checks. But then we're gonna walk back into town, get all that stuff over there, lured up, and try and see if we can get ourselves some more shinies. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves shiny Tynamo and Pokemon Go. I think this is probably my fourth one now. We're a little over an hour and a half into the event. Um, I just kind of been taking it easy, kind of walking around, uh, playing with my daughter, <clears throat> not stressing too much. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I have my uh, my boot on today. So yeah, I can't really, you know, do too much walking around. Uh, let's see, and IVs are horrible. But like I said, I believe that is our fourth. Let me check and make sure we haven't go plus anything. Yes, that is our fourth Tynamo for the day. We're getting a couple extra spawns because I do have Spatial Ren turned on. I didn't have enough to get it going for the full three hours. I only had enough um, Palkia candy to get it going for like 20 minutes. I wasted a lot of my Palkia candy during GoFest Global to get more spawns. But we do have to finish the part one of the special research for Calm Day. So we get some Pokeballs, get some candy, and we get an encounter with Tynamo 326, not shiny. I'll go ahead and give it a. I'll go ahead and give it a pineapple berry just to get a few extra candies. Like I said, we do have our, um, what is it called? We have our mega electric. I'm sorry, mega manetric evolved or mega evolved. So we're getting extra candies for that. Uh, 10, 14, 11 on those IVs. Do we have anything else around we can catch? Let's check you. Not shiny. Let's see if I can get an excellent throw just to see how much XP. I'm thinking. I was trying to get an excellent throw. But when I got an excellent throw earlier and with the lucky egg on, I think I got 8,500 XP for it, which is absolutely insane. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and finish this. 
So we're going to get some stardust, uh, another incense, and an encounter with Tynamo 341, not shiny. We'll go ahead and give that a pineapple berry as well. Great curve ball throw. What? Did you get a shiny? You got a great throw? Oh, awesome, Mama. You told you want to get more XP, so you need to get the great throws and the excellent throws. All right, see, so yeah, look at that. 2100 XP for catching that. I'm pretty sure it should have been more, but anywho. So now we have the transfer 10 Pokemon, catch 15 more Tynamo, and then evolve three Tynamo. So we'll get that going. We got this XP that we need to go ahead and claim. Um, we've already spun all these stops. We can't get any more research. So we're going to head into town over there and, and lure up some more of those stops and see if we can get ourselves some more shinies. Like I said, I'm at four for the day. I'm only taking it easy. My goal for the day is to at least get 20, but we'll see. Um, it is a little hot, so I'm trying not to do too much walking and trying to stay in the shade as much as possible so I don't like get dehydrated or whatnot. But back to the adventure. All right, so we moved on to the next step, and we have to evolve uh, a Tynamo. So we're going to go ahead and get one of the shinies done. What, shiny? Oh, we hit level 29. GG's, mama. See, I told you to get level 29 easily. Now is it going to be, are you going to get level 30? That's the task for you. Like, it's all right. Exactly. That's the idea you need to have. So just make sure you continue to do your great throws and your nice throws, and you catch it, and you'll be fine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and evolve this one. This is our best... Um, IV shiny. The rest of the other IVs are horrible. So, I mean, they're all horrible, but this is the best of the horrible ones we have. We're still only at four, and it is almost, we're almost two hours in. So, not the best odds, but like I said, I am taking it easy. I'm not walking as fast and grinding as hard as I normally do for Calm Day. All right. So, Electric, I mean, it's, so the IVs are okay. The shiny, a little bit better, but we're just going to go ahead and evolve our, our best IV um tynamos for the other two this one is eh, that one's so 11 11 11 so we'll keep that one we'll get that evolution done as well um like i said we have been walking around like fairly moderate pace nothing super crazy um but i do believe we're gonna go walk back over to the car and then we'll just drive around and finish uh calm day in the car i didn't want to do a car grind today but it's going to be the fastest way for us to check as many Tynamo as possible without also stressing my leg any more than it already is. So we'll go ahead and evolve this one as well. All right, so we're going to get those evolutions out of the way. And then we'll move on to step three. I want to say step three is going to require us to evolve one of these and probably catch 10 or 15 more Tynamo. <laughs> All right, and it has evolved. So we're going to go ahead and... That's for, my phone is overheating, so it's taking a little bit of time. So I need to at least... Put, I, I, I should put my phone cooler on, but we're going to get in the car with the AC, so I should be all right. So we're going to go ahead and claim this, get the pineapple berries, get the candies, and then get this encounter, which should be another Tynamo. Not shiny. 333 on the CP. Let's see if I can get... Excellent curveball throw. There we go. And see if we catch it on the first ball. And we got it. Now let's check and see how much XP we actually got from that. 9,360 XP from that. So we got the bonus for the first ball throw. So almost almost 10,000 XP per excellent catch, or excellent throw if we get it on the first catch. So not bad at all. Let's check the IVs on this. They're going to be horrible. But anywho, let's move on in the research. So we're going to go ahead and claim this. We're going to get an egg incubator, um, 4,500 XP, and an encounter with not shiny Tynamo. Jeez, I can't talk. 336. So we know this one isn't any better. Let's see if we can get that. Nope. Come on. Excellent throw. And it would move to the side, of course. I'm going to wait for it to move back. Dang it. Almost had an excellent curveball throw. One shake, two shake, and we caught it. And only 1,300 XP for that one, but let's check the IVs on this one. 15, 12, 11, so, eh, on the IVs, not the greatest. No shiny on this one. 
Um, <coughs> excuse me. Nope, no shiny on that one either. And no, no shiny on that. So we'll get all those caught up in a second. But let's see what the professor has for us to do now. So we need to, come on, make three great curveball throws, which is easy. Catch 15 Tynamo and an Evolve Electrike. So we'll probably get that all that done off camera. Let's see if we can claim any of these rewards from the taste. Um, yep. So we do have two Tynamo checks, if I'm not mistaken. So Dino, wait, we're not getting Calm Day? Ugh. So are we still getting the event checks, even though it's Calm Day, we should be getting Calm Day tasks? All right, there it is, Tynamo 317. Not shiny on that one, and those IVs are probably the floor, but we'll see. All right, record it. Let's check. I think this may be the floor. Yep, there it is. 317 is going to be a research Nundo, so I'll keep that one for now. But, yeah, like I said, we, we've just lured these up. We're probably going to get in the car, ride back there, lure those spots up, do a couple laps back there, and then make our way back up here to the front. But we're going to get back to the shiny checks. And hopefully we can, for, for for the first time ever, get a Shundo on a Calm Day. Like we have yet to get one of those, and Calm Day is probably your best shot at it because you're going to get the research encounters. So we'll see. <clears throat> so we have to go ahead and move on with stage three, which is to evolve an Electros. Say, hey, look. And which one? I guess I'll go ahead and evolve the Shiny. We do need to... Claim our Unova Stone, or use the Unova Stone, but we also have to claim the Unova Stone from the research before the research is over, by the way. And, okay, this sign is actually pretty decent. It's a, a green shiny, it's a little different. And next entry, like I waited, a lot of times I wait to evolve stuff because I know eventually the shiny is going to come to the game. So I want to go ahead and get that shiny Dex entry which I was fortunate enough to get the dex entry for that. And we're going to go ahead and claim all this stuff and get an encounter with Tynamo 338. We already know that's not going to be any good. I'm trying to do this backwards. Dang it. Missed a nice throw. Oh, well. And we caught it. <clears throat> And let's check the CP, 14, 14, 12. Man, it happens, not the greatest. So we're gonna go ahead and claim this, get the Stardust, the Rocket Radar, which is awesome. I need more of those. And an encounter with Electric. This one can't be shiny, unfortunately, but that was a horrible throw. Why is this thing moving back and forth so much? I don't know, but. Oh, the critical caught it. All right, we'll take that. Check IVs, and they are 14, 15, 12. Not the greatest on the IVs, but let's go ahead and the rest of this should be auto claimed. I want to say this is going to be another encounter with Tynamo. And yep, Tynamo 329. So you know that's almost the floor. I think that's what two off the floor, or you know, twelve off the floor. I think the floor is a three seventeen. Yeah. So we know this one's gonna be horrible. It's probably gonna be eleven, eleven, eleven. Let's check. And oh, I was wrong. Okay, uh, eleven, thirteen, thirteen, but still horrible, nonetheless. And then we go ahead and catch this. We've got the rare candies. You got fifty five hundred XP and an encounter with Electros eleven twenty one. This might be bad, but we'll see if we can get a, at least a, not even a, a great throw on it, but it is what it is. And we'll go ahead and just, come on. Anywho, and really? You're going to make me actually work to catch you. All right. Anywho, well, I 
I may need to take my phone cooler off this phone and actually put it on my camera because the camera is starting to overheat a little bit. If we can just catch this, I'll be fine. One, two, three. All right, cool. Three shakes, we caught it. The actual gameplay phone is cool enough. And this one's almost the floor, 10, 11, 11, so not even worth it. But we do have about 30 minutes left in Calm Day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive around, um, see if we can collect some more shinies. And hopefully we can end this Calm Day with at least either a hundo or a shundo. But we're not guaranteed on either of those. But we'll see. And Calm Day is officially over. <clears throat> we did um, quite a few um, checks today. I can't remember the exact number. Um, there are a few of the extra um, raids. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do them. Um, I was able to knock out one, and that was with a level 40 trainer. And we kind of we kind of struggled a little bit. I mean, we got down to like 10 seconds before we actually beat it, but I didn't go in with proper counters. I just went in with suggested counters, and I'm not sure if they went in with proper counters. Maybe if I do it with um, a mega ground type revolver, it'll be a little bit easier. But, oh, got one more check here. Not shiny on that. I was turning plus plus, so I'll let it catch it. Um, but all in all, pretty solid day. I mean, you can see we are currently at. 255,410,875 XP. So if I go over and check it out, we ended up gaining a total of 650,565 XP, which is, I mean, not bad for me. Like, essentially only like playing, well, I played the full three hours, but I didn't go hard. I kind of just took it casual. So I could have easily grinded out a million, a million and a half XP if I'd actually focus on trying to get a bunch of excellent throws and whatnot for the event. But let's go ahead and check and see how many shiny we got. Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Am I looking at that? Let's do this shiny in age zero. But I guess we have a go plus uh, shiny Vulpix at some point. Okay. Let's check the IVs on that. Um, come on. IVs are trash, but I mean, a shiny Vulpix, I'll take it. Okay. Not mad at that. But we ended up getting, let's do the full family. So 19 shinies for the day. I wanted to get 20, 20 was my goal, but we got 19. I'll take 19. I'm not upset with that at all. Uh, none of them were 
good on the IVs at all, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'll run through. This one's probably okay for PvP. I'm honestly not sure how good um, this this family is in PvP at all. I'll have to run these through. Um, was it PV Poke or PV whatever, whatever the website is, just to see if any of them are decent at all. But I mean, not bad. Let's check and see if we got ourselves any new hundos. Nope. No new hundos. We still have about 11 minutes left on the spawn timer for this raid that we did complete. I'm going to look. I don't see anybody in that gym down there. Um, this lady is walking around, but I don't think she's playing Pokemon Go. So probably won't be able to get any of these extra ones done. I mean, I'll drive over to them and see if anybody jumps in when I jump in. But I'm not 100% sure. We were able to get all of our research done, um, except I didn't claim any of these where they at. I need to claim all of my rewards and get these um, Unova stones to help with evolutions in the future. I don't know which ones I'm going to evolve all the way up, but uh, we'll see. And do we have any that are at least three star? And I mean, we have a couple that are three star, but obviously none from a hundo. That's probably the best one we've got so far. And then, yeah, okay, some of them are. This is probably the best shiny we have out of all of them. Anywho. I'll um, I'll go through all of these at some point later on and check IVs and see which ones are good for PvP and which ones aren't. Um, but I mean, if I'm being completely honest, it was an okay calm day. It wasn't the best calm day, but I mean, like I said, I set a goal for 20, and we got 19, so I'll take it. I mean, if I happen to, um drive around and see anybody else in the extra extra little raids we're doing uh, or the four star raids I should say and I'll jump in and see if we can get some more shiny spawns from that but I mean all in all I mean it could have been better I think the, the shiny rate should have been a little bit higher but that's my personal experience other people's shiny rates could have been way better like I said I am playing in a small town so there's a limited amount of Pokestops um, and I would say uh Probably only nine or ten Pokestops were actually like lured up. I had to go through town and lure up the rest of them myself, which normally doesn't happen if I'm in the bigger part of the city or if I'm my if I'm in my normal play area, which is Mount Trashmore. So I mean, these are the things you have to deal with when you're playing in a smaller town. You have to take into consideration that not many people are out here playing, or the people that are playing are playing in a centralized area, not the whole town, just a spot where most of the Pokestops are. Which I kind of figured would happen, but all in all, at the end of the day, plus plus is going off. Um, it was okay. Uh, I'm excited about the XP because I know at some point level 60 is coming. So anytime I can get out and take advantage of an XP grind, I'll, I'll do it for sure. But uh, with me not being able to walk as much as or walk as fast as I want to with this boot on, it took a little bit of time um, away from being able to grind for real, for real. Uh, I think my daughter ended up getting six shinies. If I'm not mistaken. You got six shinies, right, Mama? I think I got seven. You got seven? Yeah. So, I mean, she had a pretty solid day as well. She enjoyed it, which is all that matters whenever me and her get out and have a calm day um, event together. We didn't do a shiny challenge this time just because I wanted to actually be able to enjoy calm day and not trying to focus on the challenge. And I wanted her to be able to enjoy calm day as well. Um... Let's see, do we have any? I don't see any more spawns. Anywho, but with that being said, um, this is going to be the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you guys know when I upload a video. And uh, also, comment down below and let me know how many shinies you got for Tynamo Calm Day. If you guys got any shundos or if you guys got any hundos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.